Hello and welcome to my first Let's Play, I think. Majesty 2, a great game, a strategy game, but um, different than uh, traditional ones, which you will see. But uh, this is showing right now what the game looks like. So there's all kinds of stuff that can be done. It's quite, I don't know if I'd say complex, but certainly a lot of things that are, that are going on in the game. So we'll start with just a single mission. And one of these are good. Maybe I'll do desert. I'll do the jungle. I'll start in the jungle. Okay. Your eyelids are getting heavier. I guess it's supposed to be virtual reality. But anyways. So we start with a castle. Happy to serve. If you lose your castle, you lose the game. Are you gonna eat that? And we can build all kinds of things here. So I'll start out I'll and try build my best. some heroes. I'll build some warriors and some healers and build a ranger skill right there and a marketplace. There. And here is already a monster spawner. So the point of this game is to clear the map, I guess, of all the all the monsters. Monsters appear in the buildings like this, but they also can appear from the outskirts of the map as kind of random encounters. So what you do is you build heroes from the buildings. So the cleric, this builds clerics, of course. Rangers from here, warriors, and there's all kinds of other stuff you can do. All, all kinds of other uh, heroes you can build. But the neat thing about this game, which makes it different than other RTSs, is you cannot directly control any individuals in the game. So this little worker here, I cannot tell him what to do. He does his own thing. Same with all the warriors, and that makes it a unique game. As, a, as compared with all the other games that you're, you know, the benevolent dictator, you tell everyone what to do, you move them here, you tell them to kill this, go pick up this. It's, you know, I enjoy this, these types of games where you cannot directly control people. You're more like the Illuminati, where you influence, and that's what you do in this game as well, you influence. So, you do build the units, but after that, they wander on their own. Marketplace gives them stuff to buy. They go out and kill monsters and get money from it. And then they use the money to buy things. So you buy them potions. Like this researches potions, and then the, the marketplace has an infinite store, and then uh, heroes will come and buy them. And then you get the money. And the tax collector goes around and picks up the money takes them to the castle and then you then you get more money that way so here's all the heroes that we have so far and I'm gonna tell them to kill this right away so I provide a little incentive and then they'll run over and attack it like this guy is now and this guy will this guy probably is as well I think I'll get this going too it's a trading post Trading posts produce mules that travel to your marketplace and give you a good chunk of cash if they make it. And of course monsters will try to kill those things. Here's another monster layer. So it's producing wolves. I'm not sure what the cycle is. Now, your, your own town produces monster uh, spawners like the sewers here. Now it depends on the number of buildings you have. I don't know, maybe it's five or something. Which the fifth building you have a you get a sewer. You can't destroy the sewer, but you have to keep killing the rats as they come out. So that's part of the game as well. And eventually we'll get a bigger sewer which produces even bigger rats. We'll turn the speed up a little bit. There's a speed setting right up here. So this is gonna blow up pretty soon. And they all level up, by the way. Each character has experience level that they get for attacking stuff. And 
they have equipment, which you can they can upgrade if you build a blacksmith. And then there's the healing potions that one person already has. There, he's got one of them. I don't think anybody else has any healing potions. Oh, he's got two. This is finished. These are for special buildings. The kind of the tier three heroes, which I'll get later on. But I gotta upgrade the palace, and the palace is pretty expensive to upgrade. Two thousand bucks to just get the level two. So that'll come later. Now get this. Restores health. And what? Oh, how about rogues? We'll build the rogues. Let's get some rogues rogues out. Come on. Okay, so the map here shows you what's going on, and all those little explosions or fireworks or combat. Oh, there's a skeleton attacking a house. <laughs> well, there's another one. Okay, so I need them to blow this up. So provide them a little incentive and they'll go and blow it up. Wow. Depending on the hero type as well, sometimes they'll go out and explore. But I can, I can also give them an incentive to explore. So I can make an explore flag. And then put some money on it. And then a exploring type, which are rangers. And there's a few others. They will go out and get these. And these little icons up on the heroes here, they, they kind of say what they're doing. So, scouting. And I think this one is, oh, buying new stuff. And this person is attacking something. Oh no, she's doing a, qu or she's uh, fulfilling a, one of these things, flag. A so she's attacking that. My toil. This guy's buying stuff. So let's see what he buys. Oh, he bought one healing potion. I guess for twenty bucks, it's one healing potion. Shall soon be healed. What did she buy? She bought one healing potion as well. Oh, all the money I got. Um, let's upgrade some of the buildings. You can upgrade the buildings, and you can then research abilities that the heroes can use. Oh, the rogues is done. And some of the buildings have abilities that all heroes can use, like this poison oil one. So heroes will actually come into the rogue skill and buy oil for their weapon to poison it. So maybe I'll do that too. I think I should build. You know where all that money came from? It's from this. This is sending uh, mules over with money. And actually, it's pretty fortunate that one's so close to the base. Usually, that's not the case. Usually, it's like halfway down, and you've got to build towers around it because monsters will come and attack it. Is there two here now? Okay, let's build a tower there. There's a tower. Towers shoot arrows as well as they have. They spawn a guard who walks around and attacks stuff. Same with my castle. My castle spawns twelve peasants who walk around and repair and build stuff. Two tax collectors who walk around and pick up money. Uh, one royal guard. And one more yeah. And as I level this up, they get more of these things. These houses appear randomly. This is where the workers live. And they produce money per turn. So basically, these people pay tax to live here. And monsters can come and blow up houses. But they just reappear somewhere else, pretty much. And later on, when this castle levels up, other buildings will appear on the outskirts that pr just produce tax money, like windmills, for example. But there's not a big deal to protect them. It's pointless. Like, it doesn't matter. And if a skeleton was blowing this up, it, it, I would be indifferent. It doesn't matter. They just reappear later. There's a warrior attacking some rats. It's a dire rat. This is done, so I can upgrade I lose a fight. I'll upgrade it, and it makes it shoot fire arrows, which are better. 
mana potions are kind of useless because the clerics can regenerate their mana with a, an ability right here, I think. Yes, this one. So I'll give her the holy attack and upgrade that. And I'll get this one, this accurate shot, which is actually pretty awesome for the ranger. And crushing blow for the warrior. Maybe we'll follow somebody around now. We'll follow this ranger around for a bit. Looking for adventure. Is no one getting this? I guess I'll... Sometimes if the reward isn't high enough, you have to increase it a bit. Okay, we've got a bit of money here. Let's upgrade the castle. That'll take a while. You can see their levels up here. So, clerics are generally pretty high because they they can heal themselves, so they don't die very often. And they are wimps, so they'll run away if too much stuff comes. And, yeah. Oh, that's how this guy. Okay. They level up faster as well because they, they're healing themselves and other players, and they get experience for healing and, and doing damage, so they're getting a lot of experience. So this rogue is probably going to get this... Uh, Quest. Exploring for your majesty is a pleasure. Oh, there's a skeleton. <laughs> there's a skeleton. Oh, I gotta blow that up. Oh, she got the money, 200 bucks. This oh, what? She's running away. Oh, well. Okay, blow this up. 200. So I'm going down. Going on down here. Too much. There's some more buildings to blow up. Wolf's Den, Wolf's Den. Okay. Is this finished yet? How's the castle doing? Oh, it's upgraded. So now I have three guards, four taxpayers, or tax collectors. But I can also get maybe some tier two heroes if I can find them. Okay, now what do I want? I can I can either get elves or dwarves. I can't get both. I think elves are better. Dwarves are good if you're playing a, a really hard map and you have to be very defensive if you have all kinds of crap coming at you because they dwarves can build um, pretty good towers. These dwarven towers are really good, but we don't we're not playing a defensive map, so I'll upgrade the marketplace so that I can get an elven bungalow. Yes. Oh, look at all the skeletons. <laughs> oh, there's an archer. Skeleton archer. <laughs> Why is he running like that? <laughs> okay. Oh, we're gonna get shot. Oh. Oh, she just got a hold. Oh, here's a ranger. Level seven. Where? He He's just running away. I guess he's looking. Oh, he's gonna even get in the chest, maybe. Someone's gotta take care of these bowmen. Maybe you'll see that special effect. My no. has paid off. Oh, that, I wonder if he's gonna run. Yep. <laughs> he's gone. Okay, what was I gonna do now? Is this done? So let's get Ring of Protections, and then we'll get the elves. The elves right there. Another thing that's nice about dwarves is they repair buildings too. And they get experience for that. Oh, she's just got owned as well. I wonder if she'll use that holy attack spell. 